Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck you've got the Ten of Cups. So this is about having patience uh, and this is about, because this woman is watching these two, this woman and her child walk away. So, you know, having the patience to deal with the circumstance, it looks like those difficult circumstances will leave you. You just have to have the patience. The Ten of Cups is, um, you know, the end of uh, difficult emotional problems. Uh, and, you know, even letting go of the past and moving on, le letting go of people and moving on to start a fresh, make a fresh start, start a brand new life as well. So you're ending uh, really traumatic um, circumstances that you went through and you're moving forward and you're going to be able to, uh, you know, make a brand new start, start something new. Uh, you could be even physically moving, you could be moving to a new home as well, changing where you live and that's going to start a brand new phase in your life. So a new phase coming in for you here and endings of old circumstances. So maybe leaving people behind as well. You got the seven of wands over here, so uh, you know it looks like you were dealing with a very aggressive person here. You've needed to protect uh, yourself and your family. Uh, you know, in both these cards, this woman's taking this child. She's protecting this child, and she's moving away. So you could have been dealing with somebody who was very, very abusive, maybe, uh, and you know, uh, somebody that caused a lot of drama. And you've had to take defend yourself, and you've now decided, you know, to end. Maybe you're ending a relationship over here, and you're going to be moving away from a person that has been, uh, you know really um, aggressive towards you. Now the Seven of Wands is dealing with problems and, and you know having the self-confidence to deal with it and dealing with them one at a time really with that Seven of Wands. But in this, in this card uh, you know it looks like this person has been very aggressive uh, and you needed to stand up for yourself. You've got the Knight of Cups over here so it looks like uh, you know there could have been some uh, uh, you know, support coming in for you. This could be even new, a new job in this particular deck, uh, working, uh, maybe a new job offer coming in over here. Now, um, it looks like this Knight of Cups, maybe a new job offer has taken you away from the circumstance that you have been in. So some kind of offer came in that's allowed you to move away and it looks like you're moving away from it. So you could be, uh, you know, relocating really to get away from a circumstance that has been very nasty. So you've got the High Priestess over here. It looks like you've been asking for help and guidance uh, from the Divine over here. This High Priestess praying, uh, you know, for something to come in, praying for enlightenment. So it looks like you have been asking, uh, you know, you have been going on your intuition, but it looks like you've been asking for some kind of help of... Uh, you know, and spending a lot of time by yourself as well with a high priestess. This is also a card about things, you know, secrets being kept and you not knowing about them, things going on behind the scenes that you didn't know about. You've got the Hierophant card over here and you can see in this card, this Hierophant is moving through this graveyard. So he's letting go of the past and moving forward into the future, you know, making a new commitment to something else. Uh, leaving past or traditional views behind and moving forward, really, with that Hierophant. Uh, this is also about, you know, you could be seeking, um, the Hierophant also rules institutions, so it could be about, you know, seeking medical advice, seeking some kind of counseling, something like that coming in for you, getting some sound advice and guidance, and it looks like that's what you've been doing. You've been asking for a chair with this High Priestess, and it might be that you've been attending some kind of counseling, um, even, you know, uh, even doing a lot of research into finding answers to your questions, but you're changing your mindset as well with that Hierophant card. And you're moving forward. So something is giving you that, uh, you know, resilience. Um, your your belief system might be changing in order for you to move forward. So there was a tower moment. Something happened that caused complete loss. And you're getting over that now. So, you know, you could have been dealing with, a, like I said, a very, very aggressive person. Uh, there was a lot of drama over there. And it caused that tower moment. And it caused you to lose everything. You can see this house is burnt up. So maybe even that family home that you, meet, you and this person may have shared, uh, you know, all of that has, you know, just disintegrated. In the sense that there's a loss there. Uh, so whatever that old life was, it seems to have come crashing down or it seems to have, you know, almost burnt up. <clears throat> there may have been abuse, uh, you know, some kind of physical abuse as well with the seven of wands. This man looks very, very aggressive, uh, you know, and um, you are now leaving behind the situation. Now, this woman is hiding and watching this woman. So there might have been uh, people doing things behind your back that you didn't even know of. 
Now going into the future, you've got the uh, Knave of Swords. So this looks like there's some kind of legal situation uh, or legality that you're dealing with. So this could be a divorce. So whatever that, uh, you know, whatever you were, um, that relationship was, uh, the law is now sorting it out. And it looks like you're very unhappy about it. I mean, you, whatever happened about it, it's it's taken its toll on you. The Knave of Swords is about legal news coming in. So maybe you're waiting for news from a pending divorce, um, you know, it seems like that particular relationship is completely dead. Um, and there was a lot of heartache and a lot of pain that went in. And it took a lot out of you to actually break off that relationship as well. It, it's had its toll on you. You've got the King of Swords. This is a judgment coming in. This is a, just, uh, a justice card. This is ruled by Archangel Michael. So you're waiting for that decision to come. And once that decision comes, uh, you know, uh, and it will come, um, because this is in just going into the future. So in the near future, this decision is coming in. So this is probably, you know, seeking legal counsel over here or getting the legal system involved. Um, and um, this is about a judgment being passed. Now, uh, you've got the judgment card as well. So this is all about legalities. Now, after this, you're going to have to make a decision. The judgment card is about, uh, you know, victorious, being victorious in that legal situation yourself, but also transforming and moving on and starting afresh somewhere else. This man is coming out of the grave. So whatever it was, was very, uh, you know, it affected you quite a bit. Um, you've had to actually let go of it, leave it alone, and you have had to walk away with nothing. This man is practically naked, uh, and, you know, he's going to start a new life. These people are giving him brand new clothes. He's emerging from the grave, so whatever it was almost destroyed you, and you've had to come out of it, and you know, you're getting help and assistance from other people to get over it. So there's a judgment. There's some kind of legal situation. I think it was a very abusive situation that went uh, down over here because you can see, you know, there's these wands cards, which are very aggressive cards, and then you've got this legal system coming in with the swords cards over here. Now, what you want is you want financial independence, and you want to start a new relationship with somebody who's financially independent and reliable. That's in your hopes and fears. So going to the future, you've got the Four of Cups, uh, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. So this is all, you know, going into that emotional phase. Four of Cups is being supported by people who understand you, love you, will listen to what you've got to say. This is also about getting together with people that you, so that you can air your views with this Four of Cups. Uh, so it's important for you to do that and to get away from the circumstance of abuse that you, you seem to have gone through. So there are people that are going to be listen, listening to you, so you need to get it off your chest. If it means that you need to get advice and counseling, that sort of thing, you do need to go for that because there are a lot of things that you're dealing with with this tower card. So there's been a tremendous upheaval in your life. There's been some abuse that had went, gone on. You've gone through this legal situation or you're going through at the moment. You need that support and you're going to have to ha you know, be with people that can give you that support. Um, you've got the Nine of Cups over here. It looks like, you know, you are going to reach a phase where you get that emotional satisfaction. You will come out of this situation. You can see a lots of apples. He's had more apples than he can eat. So you will have people that will support you more than you think. And, uh, you know, you will be able to be independent and be comfortable in your independence as well. This Nine of Cups is about uh, being fulfilled, your wishes being fulfilled, satisfaction being brought to you. And in the back, you've got that house, that stability. So you might feel like, you know, you've had to, you've lost everything. You might be in a temporary kind of situation now, but stability is on its way to you soon. And you will start something brand new with the Ace of Cups over here. So something absolutely, you know, new starting. There could be a new relationship coming in over here, but all in all, it doesn't seem like you're very interested in it. Uh, you are now enjoying your independence and enjoying having gotten rid of a very difficult situation. So it looks like you've gone through the mill here. You've gone, you're going through a, some kind of legal circumstance right now. But the outcome looks like it's going to be uh, good for you. It's going to bring you happiness uh, and, and allow you to appreciate your independence and enjoy your independence and really, you know, uh, walk tall uh, in, in uh, you know, having overcome such a difficult circumstance. So again, this is repeating. You've got the high priestess over here. It is time to pause and reflect and not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts. There is nothing hidden from you, uh, from your divine intuition. So you have been using, uh, you know, your intuition with High Priestess card. There's information that has been coming to you or will be coming to you. You've got that new moon phase, and this was the beginning of transformation. 
So, you know, going through the gates, uh, you know, this is almost like going down the river sticks. So going through almost, uh, you know, annihilation and then starting off afresh again and renewal coming in. And then the second card is renewal. So it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what is to come. And you've got the judgment card twice. So this is uh, starting a new journey, being at the crossroads in your life and going forward and, you know, transforming, uh, having lost everything and now starting again. But there's help. You can see there are three people here. There are three of these raccoons over here. So three people around you are going to give you that help and support. You can see one person is providing clothes. The other person is providing something to drink. So there's emotional support. There's financial support. There is, you know, a place for you to uh, uh, a protected phase really that you're going through and you are coming uh, you know of, out of uh, having nothing into something where people everybody is going to help you and it will you'll enter into a successful part of your life too but you need to move on and there's another butterfly here so a lot of transformation coming in and you've got the ace of winter over here so implementation of a new idea may get off to a, a rocky start but keep going the challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something better so you are still facing a lot of challenges with the ace of winter which is the ace of swords it's actually victorious in uh you know any legal battle that you're going through so whatever this legality is you will win and this is about cutting out that past having up new ideas speaking your truth quite boldly being uh, taking charge, getting that Ace of Swords back in your hand and taking charge again of the situation, getting your personal power back. So you're entering into a phase where you are leaving a very difficult situation. You're going to get that emotional satisfaction, but you're going to have that help and support that you need. You know, and you're transforming. Whatever difficult circumstance you went through has changed you completely. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're going through a renewal phase. It's almost at the end of the cycle. Uh, this was a karmic cycle. And this is now be going to be changing. You are moving away from a very, very difficult, very, very difficult circumstance with that uh, Ten of Cups there. Um, and, um, you know, protecting what you have fought for. But it looks like there was a lot of loss with that tower card, a lot of drama. You will be a winner because you've got that ace of winter in whatever legal circumstance you go through. So best of luck. It is a very, very difficult reading. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I hope you, you know, um, be positive. That is the thing that is going to get you through this circumstance. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, take care now. Goodbye.